8 15 on a Wednesday morning and I have a lot I need to get done before my in-laws come this weekend for their visit and I think the first thing I'm gonna do is get ready to go grocery shopping I have Lydia's birthday party on Saturday and the kids have literary night practice and performance on Friday and I have all this cooking to do so that can run smoothly and the first thing I need to do is grocery shop. I got my shopping list ready and I'm going to attempt to load up all the kids and make it to all these by 9 o'clock when they open and while the kids are still having their fresh happy juice we can get this done without too much torture. There's my shopping list. It's not too big but things I definitely need to get. It's 8.48 and we're on the road. I don't usually take all of the kids by myself grocery shopping. In fact, I think this is the first time I've taken all six kids grocery shopping. But this is the start of our really busy season at work. And we try to make sure he stays caught up the entire season. Otherwise, everything comes due that last week or two in August, and it's insane. So I'm pretty much forced into taking all the kids by myself to the grocery store for today, which is which is fine. Um, but I'm going to show you how now. I do it without losing my mind. Guys, what do I expect out of you? Good. Good? Good what? Not to touch anything. That's right, not to touch anything. And to quietly walk beside Mommy and stay right by Mommy. Right? All right. You ready to go in? We'll make this nice and quick. The other important thing to remember when you're going shopping with a lot of kids is have your list ready so you can go in and out as quickly as possible. Grapes. Yum, yum, yum. Grapes. Grapes. I didn't have that on my list. <laughs> Sorry. Done shopping, and the kids did really well. We just pulled in, it's 9.56, it only took about an hour for two stops. This is my grocery store haul, and all these came to, let's see, 53.12, and then I stopped at my restaurant supply place and picked up five pounds of mozzarella and five pounds of the cheddar, so those are, a little on the expensive side because they're dairy. And that came to $25.15. So for about $75, I got all this food, and this will probably last me a couple weeks. A lot of this stuff was because I'm having company for the weekend and I needed to bulk up on some of our food stores, but Overall, not a bad shopping trip, and Mary did an excellent job, and so did all the other kiddos, and Grace fell asleep in the car seat. Yay! We're letting some of our chickens free range for a little while. Mary, you can leave the door open, honey. Let the chickens come in and out. Leave it open. cute. They're okay. They'll come out when they're ready. Looks like the chicks are getting ready to head in. Girls, did you enjoy your time out? Now we've got to count them all, make sure we've got them all. I see one stray chicken over there. I'm gonna have to go fetch them. Go on chicken, back to our yard. She's being a naughty chicken. Let's get the chicken back. <laughs> Talking about little chickens. There's, there are some in here. There they are. Hey girls. What do you want to say? Oh, see, she's talking to me. Usually when I go in the garden, all the chicks come running. Let's see if they'll come over. Hey girls. Hey girls, come on over. And I think they've got too much exciting stuff over there they're looking at. See, she came over. She wanted to see what was going on. Oh, there's another one right here. Oh, you're stepping on my flower, girl. <laughs> stepping on your flower, girl? 
<laughs> I know not. These chicks seem to be pretty friendly. Mama pet huh? one. Can you put this on? Haven't they gotten big? They need those ear, pretty iridescent black feathers. I know, it's really, really pretty. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. Mommy. Does it come through on the camera or not? I don't know. We'll have to look at the big... Oh, look who's come to visit. Someone's escaped. Oh, no, we'll never get her out of there. It's hard to get her out in there. Come on, girly. Come on. Boop. Boop. Yeah. Ah, Daddy is a ki chicken catcher. Oh, I'm going the other way. Right that way, yeah. That's a big. Yeah, a big, a big little chicken. That's a big. Yeah, she's only about four weeks older than her other ones. They grow fast, though. It's probably easier for me to just show you how we actually use this blanket with Grace. And Art is going to swaddle her up so you guys can see it. And the name of the blanket is called the Miracle Blanket. And I'll put the link for it in my Amazon store in the comments below. Just lay her down. And then there's two pieces of fabric. That one just goes over her arm and then underneath her back like that. And then you do the same thing with the other arm. It looks painful, but it's really not. The babies like they it. They absolutely love this. And it's the best swaddle blanket I've found so far. I have some of the different ones by Summer and um, some more of the generic brands. And those just do not work. This one works like a charm. And she knows this is her signal for her to go to bed. And that's all there is to swaddling her up. And there she is. Aww. Are you ready for a night night, Miss Grace? Night night, Grace. Night, night, night.